Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi weekly love reading for April 1st through the 15th. Um, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm going to take you down here and so you can watch your cards come out. We will get where you're coming from, where you're at, where you're going, spirits advice, and the overall outcome of the situation that you are currently dealing with. So let's see whoa, where you Sagittarius are coming from in love, the energy that you are coming from. All right. Death and judgment. Whoa. Big cards. Big cards. All right, where you're at now. Justice. And the Five of Wands. And, sorry, I got a piece of hair there. Um, where you are headed. It's a little too many. Where you are headed. All right, the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. Spirit's advice to you in the next two weeks. The Moon. One more for Spirit's advice. One more for Spirit's advice. Thank you. And your outcome. All right, your bottom of the deck and shared energy with somebody is the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Next card out on the bottom is the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to be turning for you in a very positive way, um, you know, going with the flow of things, the natural ups and downs of life. Um, you have felt like you are coming out of a very tough time. Let's start with your shared energy with somebody. So you're really wanting um, this Ten of Pentacles. You're really wanting to experience um, this beautiful full life with somebody. Having it all together, having it all, period. Having the family, the money, the, <clears throat> the happiness, the abundance in every area. Um, in order for you to... Um, achieve that in order for you to find that for some of you, you have to walk away. You have to walk away from somebody who has been very in and out of your life, very flighty, very, um, here one minute, gone the next, um, in and out, not sure what they want. Um, they want this 10 of pentacles as well, but they're not sure how to do it, how to, um, for some of you, this person's very immature. They're very controlling. They have to have things their way or, um, or it's not going to happen at all. So um, for some of you, you need to walk away from an energy that's very in and out of your life um, in order to get that Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you have to walk away from a family situation um, and follow your passion, follow your heart, and uh, speak up for yourself, telling the truth on what you want in life. Um, let me get a clarifying deck here. We'll go with the Morgan Greer today. Um so where you're coming from, holy cow, look at these two cards. Saggies, you're going through a big change. Um, somebody could have left you in the past, and this most definitely pushed you into a place of um, shedding the old, uh, going through a spiritual detox, going through a spiritual um, transformation. Uh, with this, when judgment and death comes together, this is having to go through um, the pain, having to go through the pain of transformation in order to get that uh, second chance. This is also connecting with uh, source, with the universe, um, in a very spiritual way. After somebody caused you the need to go through that. Um, transformation. This could be stemmed from a third party situation where you were the mistress and somebody uh, walked away from you, or this is, um, 
Oh, let's see what the death card's here about. What's the death card here for? Could be dealing with a Taurus moon also is what I'm hearing. Yeah, so after the the uh, after somebody walked away, ending this this uh, third party situation, um, possibly cutting you off, it really forced you to go within and really focus on you yourself and really um, invest in yourself um, to the point where you you know you purged out all that um, that you know, all that didn't serve you anymore. You really focused on what it was that you wanted, what you needed. And you really have come out of this being a much stronger um, person, a much uh, more confident person, well put together. Um, and you're starting to see the abundance of being so independent and um, focusing on yourself. In your current energy, you do have justice, which is beautiful Libra um, energy, but you also have the five of wands. So you're really feeling conflicted for some of you. You, your partner stepped out on you, your hu husband, your wife, um, causing that empress to be in reverse and still causing you to be that beautiful independent person. But now um, justice is being served. The karmic scales are balancing out. Um, some of you are going through a divorce and it's going to be final. For some of you, you're going through a divorce and it's ugly. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of back and forth. But um, for some of you, you really just have a lot of inner conflict about letting this relationship end. But this really is balancing out your karmic scales. Um, and really going to bring balance into your life altogether. Oh, where'd that one come from? The moon in reverse. So, okay, why is justice here? Why is justice here for Sagittarius in the next two weeks? Way too many. They just flew out of there, though. Why is justice here for Saggies in the next two weeks? My goodness, they keep giving me half the deck. Thank you. Okay, wow. How about some more big cards? Why is justice here? Because... Justice is here serving you in its greatest form because you um, really uh, went within. You really purged out that devil energy with that death card. You really, um, really focused on what it was that you wanted, what you needed, and now you're getting your second chance at life. You're getting your second chance at love. This is absolutely amazing combination. This is powerful. This You went through some shit, Sagittarius. You went through hell and back with this person, um, and you're really going to be well rewarded um, when these scales balance out. So much major arcana. Um, this really had, this really is breaking your heart, all this conflict. Um, you had a lot of inner conflict because your heart was broken, but the, the battling back and forth also, um, really caused you some heartache with that five of wands and three of swords. Um, wh where this is headed, uh, you could have children that you're dealing with in this divorce or this separation. Um, there could be two children involved for some of you, but this is really immature energy. You're finding out some information, um, could be getting a message, Whoa. could be getting a message from somebody, an air or a fire sign, but you could be getting a message uh, in the future about this connection. Uh, they could want to reconnect with you with the judgment card here twice. Um, this is somebody from your past. This is somebody that you've dealt with in this lifetime, um, more than likely an earth sign. So um, this earth sign is going to uh, reach out to you. Like I said, the messages could be pretty immature. And this really broke your heart. Like you don't even know if you necessarily want to talk to this earth sign. You feel there's a very deep connection here, a very deep bond between the two of you that possibly is going to come back around. But you or your person had to deal with karma. They had to walk away from you. They had to deal with their other situations because of karma. They had to learn their karmic lessons. They are balancing out. And this could come back together um, for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius that are dealing with this earth sign. They are very well grounded. They're very well put together now. They had a lot of work to do in this as well. Your person could have been the one that also had to go through a spiritual transformation. But in the time of separation, you became very independent, very strong, very confident. Even though it broke your heart, you really are coming out looking good. But this earth sign um, could be telling you, you know, the children is why they couldn't leave. Um, they are coming in as a king, but their messages are very immature. So just be uh, uh, cautious of that. 
So Spirit's advice to you is the moon and the nine of cups. So let's see what that entails here. Why is the moon here for your advice to Sagittarius? Okay. And why is the nine of cups here? Knight of Swords. All right, bottom of the deck right now is the Knight of Cups. So Sagittarius, you're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice between two people, possibly three in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, Spirit's advice is to follow your heart, to follow your deep passion, to go within, to look to see where you want your path to go. The moon isn't always about secrets and deceit. Um, it's also about a deep passion, deep love, deep connection to the universe, to your partner, to your soul. This is a very deep soul connection. Um, and you're, it, it's being clarified by follow your heart and move quickly. Take action because this is going to lead you to stability. This is going to lead you to a solid foundation. This is going to lead you to new places, a new home, a new love. Um, so follow your heart. You are going to have a choice. Um, your prayers are being answered. Spirit has heard your prayers. Spirit has heard your, your affirmations, your wishes, your hopes, your prayers, your dreams. They know. They know what you want. And it's going to come in to you in the form of the truth. Somebody's coming in very quick and truly telling you how they feel. This could be an air sign as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got fire signs and we got earth signs right now. But, but spirit has heard you. Your advice is to move forward with the truth, to know in your heart what it is you truly want. And it's going to lead you to a very passionate uh, connection, foundation, uh, stability. Uh, but move quickly. Decide what it is in your heart and move quickly. In your guys' overall outcome, you guys have the Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Fool. So let's see what that is. Why is the seven of wands here? And the two of wands. And the fool. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the high priestess. So go within. Follow your heart. Next one out is the knight of cups. So um, this person or you could feel very... Um, like you have to defend your stance. You have to defend your uh, reason for doing things. Um, the the universe is going to um, illuminate some things that have been going on with this person that had a lot of love for you or you had a lot of love for them, but they're unstable. They're emotionally unstable. They don't know what they want. They're back and forth, back and forth, which has been what's causing you this heartache this whole time. So the universe is going to show you some things. Um, they're going to be very defensive, very um, like trying to shove their reasoning on you um, because they're scared to lose you. They're scared that you're moving on. But this person could be very emotionally manipulating as well with the seven of wands. That's not a very good combination. So um, remember to follow your heart and do what it is in your heart that feels good to you. The sun is all about moving in the direction that you are your dream, your, you know, and with the universe backing it. So whatever you decide, whatever you choose, the universe has got your back, but be cautious of this person because this is a very emotionally manipulative person. They have a lot of love for you, but they use that to their advantage or they use your love for them to their advantage. And it's kind of like a, a do first, ask for forgiveness later type of thing. And when you confront them about that, when they come back and send you these messages, um, they're, they're going to be very defensive about that. So just be cautious of that energy. Um, you are on a crossroads. You're trying to decide what to do. you got a choice between two people. Who's it going to be? Right or left? Um, whatever you choose is what you manifest. You can manifest in whatever you want. All you have to do is work hard and keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on what you are working for and and you're going to go down the right path. Go within and listen to your inner self. This is also a sign of Virgo. Um, so you could be wanting to work on things with a Virgo, um, but it doesn't have to be. This is just manifesting. The eight of pentacles to me is manifesting the spiritual into the material. Um, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, working hard to make that a reality. And you're at a crossroads trying to decide what it is that you want your reality to be. Um, you have a new beginning here. You have a, uh, a new fresh start with somebody. You just have to choose who it is. You do definitely have a choice here between a, uh, 
between two people. Both of them looking very good. One of them will bring you stability. You just have to follow your heart, follow your intuition, follow your um, your inner voice because it is here leading you. It is here um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess being your bottom of the deck. You're going to be moving into a very beautiful spiritual union. Um, you just have to make a choice. At the end of the two weeks, I don't, you know, with it being in the upright, you know you have a choice. You know you have a new beginning on the horizon. You're just not sure what you one you're going to choose yet. Um, so you're kind of in that indecisive uh, um, area at the, at the end of the two weeks. You do have judgment here twice. So you have somebody coming back from your past, Sagis, that really wants to be with you. Um, yeah, most definitely. You've gone through this beautiful transformation and now you're vibrating at such a high level that you are just drawing everybody back into you um, as well as new people. So let's see what the angels have to say about this spread. Any information for Sagittarius about this spread? Whoa. All right. Bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love. So open your heart to receive the highest energy of all. Um, like I said, Sagittarius, um, you have somebody coming back to you. Um, it is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work here. Um, it is working hard in your love life. Um, stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you your romance. Be confident that this person is returning. Be confident that this is worth waiting for. If it is, if you don't want to be with somebody of your past, be confident because stability and love is coming your way. It's worth waiting for. This doesn't necessarily have to mean it's somebody from your past. This just definitely means means that you have somebody coming into your life that is worth it. It is worth the wait. Don't settle. Don't be with somebody just because you want to be with somebody. Wait for it. It is coming. Beautiful things are coming. You have somebody from your past returning and you have somebody new here as well. The universe heard your prayers. They heard your wishes and it is coming, but the universe has to have time to put this person in your path, but it is coming because they promise you the person that is coming is most definitely worth the wait. So stay optimistic about your love life. It is coming for you. It is safe for you to love. Allow new people to come in and love you. Allow people from your past, if that is how you feel, you know, listen to your intuition. If that person from their past is coming back and you truly feel that they have changed, then open your heart. Open your heart to give and receive that highest energy of all. So let's see where you Sagittarius are on your sacred path. All right. So your two cards. Wow. All right. So here we go. Desert passage. Trust there is a divine plan. I was just saying the divine has to have time to put this person in your life. It is most definitely part of the plan. Um, I'm going to read from the book because that's what I am being called to do. All right. So. The book says, even if it seems like life has areas of bareness beneath the surface, life is transforming for you. It, this is in accordance to your highest good. Trust that you are guided, even if it doesn't seem like it. There are spiritual guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. Listen with your heart. Like I said, with that, uh, that, um, what card did you have? Oh yeah, the high priestess. Listen to your intuition. It's telling you. Act on your instincts. Believe the messages you are being given is for your highest good. Get down to basics and trust what you feel. The desert path can seem like a vast wasteland, but yet it is in the isolation that immense, immense insights and intuition can emerge. In times of old, sages and visionaries retreated into the des desert to connect more deeply with spirit. If in the past you trusted your instincts and then later it seemed like it was to be a mistake, don't let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often those things that we thought were mistakes in the past, in hindsight, were just the best possible things for us. As you open up your intuition, you will sense messages from the loving, loving presence of your spirit guides. There is a potent plan for your life. Trust. Because it is coming for you now. All right. And your second card was crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So, this card, even if it seems like life... Oh, that was what I just read. 
Okay. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds and with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it go. If there's anything unresolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile. You can even... You may even need to burn your bridge behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Help others traverse bridges in their lives as well. When the traveler crosses a bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. You are ready to cross this bridge in your life. There are times to step away from certain people and situations. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places. Then go forward. This is one of those powerful healing times to choose. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive. Let go. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person in your past from whom you should reconnect. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. Person from your past to reconnect? I think so. For some of you, you may need to solve this and burn that bridge. For some of you, you need to mend that bridge and it is um, coming in for you. So it's all a part of the divine plan, my friends. You guys have a beautiful two weeks coming. You do have a choice between two lovers. Um, so you need to decide whether to burn the bridge with one, mend the bridge with them, or to move on to new love. But no matter what you choose, it is the right path. Whatever you follow your heart and decide to do, it is safe for you to love and stay optimistic. So, all right, Saggies, have a beautiful two weeks. I will see you next time, and God bless.